Vesper time. And you know what? I was just thinking just a minute ago, this is a place in the church that I have never been. Actually, I have been in the balcony standing, but I have never sat in the balcony. And I have especially never sat in the balcony for worship. But as I'm looking from this vantage point, it is much different than any other place that I've ever sat. And so for all of my balcony people, happy Vesper Day. Let us pray. Lord, as we begin to, to look at a scripture this afternoon, I pray that the power of the Holy Spirit might be upon us this day and that we can worship you even while we are separated. In the name of Christ we pray. Amen.
obviously you know that today is January the 13th in the year 2021. It's getting a little easier to say 2021, but you know, every now and then I slip back into that forgetful mode and say 2020. Friends, today I want to share a scripture with you and it's part of the Sermon on the Plain. So listen to these words that come from Luke 6. But I say to you, listen, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. If anyone strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And for anyone who takes away your coat, do not even withhold your shirt. Give to everyone who begs from you. And if anyone takes away your goods, do not ask them again. Do to others as you would have them do to you. Friends, this is the word of God for the people of God. And as we end that verse that I just read for you, Luke 6, 27 through 31, verse 31, do to others as you would have them to do to you. That and Matthew 7, 13 are considered to be the golden rule. You might know that, do unto others as you would have them to do unto you. Friends, sometimes I wish that, that we could just take that. And then John three sixteen that God so loved the world that he gave his only son. If we could just take those two scriptures and live by them. But then we have the whole other part of the Holy Scriptures. And yet sometimes the simplest of text we cannot keep. Friends, I'm wondering today if, if, if I would truly do to you what I would want done to me. Would I ever speak a word of harshness? Or anger to you? Would I tell you that that shirt that you're wearing is ugly or that hairstyle is out of season? Would I say those kind of hurtful words or phrases? The Lord loves us and he always wants good for us. But a lot of times we are so self-centered that we find ourselves thinking that if I put down my brother or my sister, literally or figuratively, that then I can be king of the mountain or queen of the mountain. But I think that that is a fallacy that we live in. It is not my ambition to be king or queen of anything. But it is my intention to live in harmony with my brothers and sisters. If I see my brother or sister that is in pain or is in agony, and knowing if the words that I spoke put them into that situation, I should feel really bad for myself. But a lot of times we take, we, we gloat about putting other people down. Friends, we're not even halfway through the year 2021. And people are already saying that I just want to skip on to 2022. But we have no idea what potentially could unfold for us that could be a true blessing. And so even though 
maybe 2021 hasn't started off exactly the way that we wanted it to, be patient. The same God that, that offers to us good blessings and loves his children is still on the throne. I like it when Jesus is on the throne and it's not me that is trying to, to, to assert myself to be on the throne. Today, there is a lot of brokenness. There's a lot of brokenness in our community. There's a lot of brokenness in our world. We have children that are filled with anxiety. We have parents that are filled with anxiety. We have grandparents. We have whole communities that are wondering when in the world and I think that the reality of COVID-19 is going to last a lot longer than any of us ever thought. But then I can't stop and, and act as if we're not continuing on. Because tomorrow, the sun is still going to come up again. And God is going to give us a new opportunity, even in the midst of COVID, even in the midst of political unrest. So friends, I encourage you, do not let your political stance keep you from loving your children, your neighbor, your coworkers, your friends, because God wants us to love all of our neighbors. We might not always agree with them, but he has called us to love. That is the greatest gift that God ever gave to us. And if we can give that gift to those that we love, friends, we will be called the blessed children of God. Today, before filming Vespers, I had the opportunity to talk to Charles Powers. I usually talk to him each day. I've limited myself four minutes. And so I actually have my timer on my phone. And when the two minutes and 30 seconds comes up, I always remind Charles that it's my time to pray. And he said, yes, pray for me. Friends, today I want to report to you that he is getting better, but he has a long way to go. Continue to pray for Charles and Jim Vaughn and so many others in our church that have had and are beginning to experience um, COVID symptoms. Friends, I've said this many times. This is nothing that we want to mess with. This is serious. Please be careful. Continue to wear your mask, social distance, and wash your hands to agnosium. Friends, let us pray. Oh God, today we come and we lift up our brother Charlie, and we thank you for healing that is going on in his weak body. Lord, we thank you for healing that is going on with Jim Vaughn. And day by day, he is getting stronger and, and needing oxygen less and less. Lord, today, we thank you for healing in Peggy. And Lord, we pray that in the days to come, that she is going to be able to return home. Lord, for the Spencers, for the Hemsoffs, for others in our church that are dealing with COVID and COVID symptoms, pour out your healing mercy upon them. Lord, for the word that came down to us today about a longtime friend of our church in Nancy Shrine, 
Or do you saw fit when her body became so weak to take her home? But Lord Lonnie is, is so lonely now. And Lord, I pray that you will just anoint him with your Holy Spirit. Let your Holy Spirit be his comforter in these days of his mourning. Lord, I continue to give you thanks for the birth of Nancy and Anthony Rivers' new grandson, Daniel. And Lord, for the baptism of Ramsey James on Sunday. But Lord, I also pray that you will pour out your spirit upon Gene Snyder and the death of his brother Jerry, and of Robert Combs, Doris Mark's nephew. And then, Lord, also I pray that you will pour out your spirit upon the Hensley family, especially upon Jonathan, as he continues to heal. Lord, sometimes it's hard for us when we are sick, but you take a child that is special needs, and it's even harder for them. So pour out your spirit upon Jonathan and your healing. And Lord, tomorrow Tom will go for, for another chemotherapy. Lord, we've prayed that this chemo will invade his body and will attack those cancer cells and will rid him from cancer. Lord, we continue to pray for April and the chemo and the steroids that she is taking. Lord, we pray that it will help to, to eradicate that cancer that has infiltrated her body as well. But Lord, also we just ask, it seems as if in this country now we have, we've, we've reached a point that we're tired. We're tired of, we're tired of being in isolation. We're tired of hearing political warfare. We're, we're just tired. Lord, give us your comfort. Give us your peace. Give us your courage. That when we can't take another step ourselves, allow us to remember that poem that someone wrote so long ago that when walking in the sand, we felt the troubles and we could not hardly walk ourselves. And then we noticed that there was only one set of footsteps in the sand. And it wasn't until then in all of our trials and tribulations that we realized that it was you, O oh God, carrying us when we had reached a point of being unable to carry or care for ourselves. Lord, carry us through this desert that we seem to be in. Take us to the brook, to your fresh water, so that we might drink and that we might be refreshed by the waters of your baptism and that we might be thankful that we are called children of the Most High. In the name of Christ we pray. Amen. Amen.